Hey guys, um, all right, this is uh, Hendon. I'm sure you probably recognize it anyway, but uh, uh, quite a few things to go through uh, in this one. They didn't make it, um, but uh, it was a bit of a weird one when uh, when they did the Bay Park at the start. Now they didn't fail on this Bay Park, so uh, have a look through it. Um, they're gonna go and they're gonna reverse. Now if you look on the right hand side, there's a curb and then you've got three other bays. Now, the biggest advice I can give you guys is do not park in that last bay because you've got a curb right next to you. Um, it's a really long curb as well. So trying to get out of the bay uh, is a little bit tricky. So you'll see shortly that um, the student, well, when he sort of does the, the reverse bay parking, um, they end up uh, per parking perfectly. Have a look in the, in the rear cam at the top corner. Um, you know, they're parking really well, no problem at all. But when they leave, that's when uh, they clip that corner right there. Um, and that is a problem. Uh, some examiners are nice about it, uh, some are not, but this examiner was nice about it. They didn't mark him down on it. Um, but I, you know, it could have been a bad day, uh, for another student. So, you know, um, just keep that in mind whenever you're doing the reverse parking, um, try not to park next to the curbs. Um, cause these curbs are an absolute nightmare and they're really sharp as well. So you can actually slice and pop your tires. So, uh, it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's happened before, uh, with some instructors where you've seen their tires have been slashed, especially towards the end. But, uh, yeah, that's something to keep in mind when you do the bay part, you're going to see it shortly that, uh, once they, uh, reverse in, um, we'll just wait a little bit here and then, uh, we'll see how they finish off. They're taking their time a little bit, but. They're doing a lot of checks, uh, which you can't see in the camera. Um, students quite good at the checks, actually, uh, which is weird because when it came to the other fault that they made, um, that was the problem they had the, uh, the checking. But anyway, so this is the end of the bay. Now they're going to drive out. Examiner will tell them to exit the, the bay and uh, to go forward uh, to the left. OK, so you'll be asked to exit towards the left. They're going to go soon. Um, in a couple of seconds and you'll see the car move up a little bit so watch now in a sense you'll see the car just bounce a bit there you go bang and that's them hitting that corner uh, of the curve look how long it is it's only just visible now but uh, yeah that's that be careful do not do that in your test um they were very uh, fortunate the examiner did not mark them down for it um and uh they carried on but now we're gonna go uh hopefully we'll uh uh, if you you know scroll through or watch the rest of the video, um, then I'll go get to the the real error that they did. All right.
something else I wanted to highlight is uh, just bear in mind the zebra crossing your head. Um, I'll highlight it now where the pedestrian is kind of walking up to it and that's how early you got to spot them. Um, they do just kind of stroll towards and just walk on so a student did really well to see that and that is the first zebra crossing you will come to um, if you are taken out uh, from this direction. So yeah, bear that in mind, keep the eye on the left as well, see how they've just walked onto it. And then before you go, make sure you scan on the right again as well, because they can just walk on again. So that's the that's an important thing. Student did really, really well there.
Okay, so this is an important part. You'll be asked to uh, follow directions for Brent Cross, Central London. Um, and this is um, just like a little one-way section underneath the, the flyover. Oh, well, not flyover, just the, the road ahead. But uh, as you come round, this is now going to be a slip road. Now, with slip roads, try and use as much as you can of it. Try not to join straight away. So the student will, uh, you'll see that they do well. They go towards the end of it. But make sure you don't leave it too late to join. So when you start seeing what they do, it feels like they leave it right to the end to join. It wasn't a problem this time, but it could be. Um, so you'll see now the lane appears and you don't want to cross that line. You want to stay in your lane. You want to build up your speed and then you want to join the dual carriageway. Look at the lane, lane markings. They're different to the other lane markings on the right. Um, so you're in the slip road section. There are no cars uh, behind now and then the student joins in. But it's, again, they should have just come in over a little bit more after that car went past them. But they dealt with it. You can get squeezed out. So be very careful with that um, there. Uh, so now we're going to go uh, a little bit further ahead at the junction and the examiner will then usually tell you that at the next set of traffic lights we need to turn right. Okay, so sometimes they're nice, they'll tell you in advance here and then they expect you to start planning ahead. So now the examiner has told the student that they need to turn right but they haven't done anything about it. Um, you know, there are cars on the other side uh, in the lane next to them, um, but you can see this continuing, continuing, continuing. Um, a little bit of undertaking here, so the examiner's let them off, but everyone's fairly slow, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but now watch the car ahead. The car ahead is a hazard. Now, if you've got a hazard, you've got to stay still. Now, the student tries to move out when there's a car there, and you'll see them get pulled back straight away. So I'm not sure whether the examiner pulled them back, uh, but I think the student did it because um, the examiner didn't mention that. But uh, that was an obstruction. And now the student's fully gone over and affected that car in the middle lane. So I'm going to replay it now and you're going to go through it now. So have a look now. You'll see the car shift drift over this white line, center white line, and then they bring them back. And that car in the top corner now, the blue one, has been affected. They've had to slow down and stop or brake, I should say. If you have a hazard that's, a, you know, all of a sudden like that in front, just try and stop straight and then deal with it later. Now, the student now pushes themselves into that center lane and they've now fully affected that car even more. Um, and it's been, it's a little bit late to try and change lanes. They've got a truck next to them. So the examiner has now told them, don't worry about turning right. We're going to be turning left. OK, um, and that really was the main problem. Now, uh, you know, it's a bit annoying that uh, you had that hazard ahead. That's life. But the student should have been planning to turn right further ahead, um, which is what the examiner kind of highlighted. I mean, from this replay in the video, I've now spotted that there was a hazard, but the examiner didn't mention that to me. Um, you know, it's not their fault. They've you know, got a lot of things to think about. But uh, yeah, it's good to see the replay. Sometimes these videos are really handy. Um, so they were saying that the student was asked to turn right they didn't really do it didn't didn't do it delayed it and then tried to do it a little bit late and it was too late and then uh, they've been requested to go left so that was the main fault um again remember if you leave things late and then you realize it's too late don't take that turn suddenly so uh, that's about it really and that was the the main fault um there is one other fault uh, so this was the first major and there is one other fault which is for speeding and I'm just going to go through that it's going to come up in a couple of minutes and I'll highlight how obvious the signs were as well
So now we are on a road called Brampton Grove. Um, this leads you up towards sort of Middlesex University and the road ahead is called the Burroughs. But that road in front, which you'll see soon, is a 20 mile an hour zone. So as you approach, um, not the best 20 mile an hour signs on the on the poles, but they are there, both of them, uh, one on the left, one on the right, and on the ground as well. So look, you see them there, there, and then you'll see it on the ground as well. So, you know, they are there, they are clear, but obviously with uh, under pressure and under stress, which a student really was actually, um, and uh, that ended up uh, you know they kind of forgot about the 20 zone and they ended up in 27 in the 20 zone so that led to the the second major so two kind of uh yeah this, this last one is a silly fault um when you see that you can see how clearly the 20 signs were but that's just pressure they've forgotten about it um and uh, that other fault that was there when they lane changed again they should have just stayed where they were and then not do anything sudden so nothing too drastic it's uh it's a real shame decent overall drive to be fair um, and hope you guys can learn from it.